Indiana's only statewide TV news network. News 8 continues now. The community is coming together tonight to address the challenges of housing discrimination in Indianapolis. Yeah, the goal is to ensure everyone has access to fair housing. News 8's Malia Van Ostrand tells us how the Fair Housing Center aims to tackle local housing inequities. The discussion isn't just a history lesson. It's a call to action for the Fair Housing Center, which actively combats modern discrimination. The Fair Housing Center of Central Indiana teamed up with UND to facilitate the discussion. It coincides with the Housing History of Sales and Lending Discrimination exhibit at the university's library. Segregation still exists today, and it has real-life impacts on the local families here in Indianapolis, from health disparities, access to banking, access to good school systems, health care, child care, good jobs. Housing is really the staple foundation on which a successful, thriving, happy life can be built from. Foch touched on the long-term effects of housing discrimination, including the wealth gap. She's also looking into what research is actively being done to combat the issues through housing counseling, education, and an inclusive communities program. It looks like high-level systemic issues in our housing markets where the inequities lie and how we can think about approaching those at a policy level, which is our fourth program, is working on public policy to help advance housing equity and justice in our communities. Foch says some of the biggest challenges are lending disparities in banking, predatory lending, manufactured mobile home parks, and investor activities. In both the rental side of things and single family homes, which is driving up costs, taking away home ownership opportunities from local families, and um, we're seeing a lot of harmful impacts in our neighborhoods from that. Attendees at the discussion include students and community members wanting to learn more about local issues. Student Elizabeth Brookover says she's really interested in housing. I did a paper about it in one of my social work classes, so just building off of what I already know. Brookover hopes to make a difference when she graduates with a better understanding of the city's history. I hope to be able to understand more where the discrimination is coming from and what I can do to help minimize it. Foch says continuing the conversation is the first step to change. It's definitely spreading the word. We also have a testing program which allows us to kind of secret shop housing for some of these inequities and I highly recommend checking that out. The exhibit will remain on display at UND until September 26th. In Indianapolis, I'm Leah Van Ostrand, WishTV, wishtv.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.